What's going on, YouTube? It's your girl, Ishu. I tune in to ITTBTV. And right now, I'm about to have a mukbang. And, you know, it's kind of, it's a little uh, weird because the subject I'm about to be talking about is food. And um, what I'm eating is not necessarily on the most healthiest side. But today is Thursday. And, I mean, this is like a cheat meal. Later on today, I do plan on eating salmon with some avocado. And uh, what was the other thing that I'm making tonight? Oh, mixed vegetables. <clears throat> so, um, without further ado, let's get right into this mukbang. Alright, so today's mukbang, we're going to be eating. I've never ate here before. I believe this is a black owned restaurant. It's called Daddy Rich's Chicken here in Louisville. It's located on um, Oak Street, 617 Oak Street. So if you ever in Louisville, Louisville, Kentucky, uh, stop by, let them, stop by, give them a try. This my, again, this is my first time trying them. I got the hot sweet sriracha with fries. I tried to change it and ask for some sweet potato fries, but it looked like I did not change it on time. But those fries look good. They are nice and seasoned. They smell amazing. But they fries, you know what I'm saying? You can't mess up fries too bad. Well, I hope not. And now... This is that sweet sriracha chicken. Ooh, it smell hot. Ooh, and they got the pepper seeds on there. Like people forget that the pepper seeds is what make a, a piece of chicken hot, yo. Is what make I mean, is what makes sauce and uh, your pepper hot. I ordered a 10 piece. I should have asked for all drums. Um, I'm sorry. In the debate, when it comes down to drums or flats, I'm a drum kind of girl. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Ooh, this, ooh frying the sauce. Let's see what that tastes like. Mmm. Mmm. It's spicy. Like, I like the kick. It got like a little kick to it. And then I asked for ranch. I got the packet. I don't think I'm going to use it, though. And then I got, I think they gave me ketchup. I ain't asked for ketchup, though. Uh, so the topic of discussion is food, right? You know, everybody says that, you know, food and fitness. Food and fitness is about 80-20 split of importance. You know, well, not of importance, but an 80-20 split of, you know, what you eat being the 80%. And then what you do fitness-wise exercise-wise, activity-wise, being the 20%. I beg to differ, you know, because um, when we look at it, right, how much time do you spend working out in a day, right? How much time you spend like an hour, hour and a half at most and the majority of that time in the gym if it's an hour and a half it's getting ready or changing or showering or talking like the gym is a place to socialize sometimes for some people right so if we break it down 10% Ten percent of twenty-four hours is how much? Two point four. All right. You don't spend two point four hours in your day in the gym. 
And we do, again, you talking, socializing, transitioning. If your gym is really busy, you worried about uh, what you waiting on a piece of equipment to open up, right? You changing, you coming into the gym. So they being lenient. I'm being lenient with, you know, 10, 90, 20, 90, 10, right? Um, and the reason I say this is because have y'all do a seven, do a fast, do a fast. Don't eat. If you haven't experienced a fast, do a fast. Okay. You will have so much time so much more time in your day to do other things if you do not eat. Right? Eating consumes so much of our time. We have to think about what we're going to eat. Right? We have to go shop for what we're going to eat. If we don't have all our stuff in the house, then we have to cook, prep. You have to prep it sometimes before you cook it. You got to unthaw it, do all this and that. And I mean, some things overlap, yes. Uh, but it's still a process, right? We cook what you eat, then you got to clean up. After you eat, like this is bland chicken with sauce on it. Like the sauce is good. The sauce is carrying the chicken, but I thought, I would have thought that the chicken would actually be more seasoned when I bit into it. I don't know, like salt and pepper, it tastes like it was just cooked. It's not a bad thing, but the sauce is like carrying it. The sauce is like the best thing. It's try the truth too. Like, I don't really eat too many seasoned salt. I think it's like seasoned salt. Fries and stuff. So I don't like a lot of salt. But it's good. But yeah, and then like, right, we all have different economic statuses, right? When you in a lower economic status, what are you trying to do? You really, you busting your ass, stressing yourself out, trying to get in a better situation so that you can feed your family, so that y'all can be living a better life, right? And then look at it. half the diseases that we encounter, they always try to tell you to change your diet to fix it. All right? My whole time. They should have added like maybe maybe a piece of bread i don't know i got my own bread but but yeah like i mean it's just a thought right uh, i said that like a question no it's just a thought i don't know what y'all think is food what percent of activity of what you do in the gym versus what you do outside of the gym what do y'all think the split is like you can come up with your own number it doesn't have to be 
80 20 or 90 10 but which one what would y'all what would you say it is I really don't like chicken that is just it's like I don't know what this is like is it oven cooked in the oven or is it fried deep fried whatever it is like I hate it I not just them though um, but you you can see like how like it was, ooh, that look good. Ooh, that sauce is, ooh, it's just glistening on that piece. Ooh. Mmm. But. I forgot what I was saying. Oh. I don't like chicken that's oven. Like it's deep fried, deep fried without no uh, unless you do it right, like without no uh, breading. It's like this one was cooked too fast, like that one cooked too fast. Don't get me wrong, it's still good. I would eat her again. Definitely would eat her again. Because to be honest, a lot of restaurants. There's a lot of restaurants. I do not how to make do not know how to make chicken. Are they chicken? Like they chop? They chop? It's all in these fries. Look crunch crunch. But anyway, that's my spew for the day. That's my mook bang. If y'all again, if y'all in little, this is not a paid promotion or nothing at all. Straight mook bang. Just letting y'all know where I got the food from. Um, but yeah, if y'all ever in Louisville, go check out Daddy Rich's. Uh, six. 617 Oak Street. Come see me afterward at 946 Goss Avenue. Y'all have a blessed one. As always, everything is motivation.